But I think the way I'm going to be doing it is if there's any story um, stuff, we're obviously going to tackle that as recording. But if I need to catch up on requests... Ooh, that's pretty good. Boo. Oh! Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. What I call a secret backstrike. Here the Pokemon's back where your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch, or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. I know that though. If you're part of the survey code working to create that Pokedex, as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in history. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you can accomplish that. Thank you. I've got this real great mushroom recipe. Oh, you're the girl from the survey core who fell from the sky. Listen here a moment, I need to tell you about this great cake law recipe I invented. Call it mushroom cake. I put 20 years of mushroom foraging and know-how into coming up with this recipe. And I know it's a winner. Problem is, folks around here aren't catching on my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. If you, people see you making my mushroom cakes famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go to. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do is return and spread the good word. Oh, and you'll need some key ingredients for yourself. Scrounge not from the forage of life fellows, as the old saying goes. One springy mushroom's all you need. I'll be waiting. Yeah, okay, I'll find a springy mushroom. Hello, Lavington. So, yeah, the way I'm going to try and treat this playthrough is... If I can do every single bit of story content I can, I will. And then if I need to train up to get to the next star... I will do that off camera because that way you're not stuck watching me catch Pokemon for 50 minutes. Like, for instance, if I have to be here and just catch and then catch. Excuse me, I need to get through. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of the bridge. Can't let you pass unless you're first. Oh, look at your rank. You should be fine. Go on, then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. That's what I mean. If we need to get a new star rank or something to go to the next area or anything like that, I will try my best to just do that off screen. Over here. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I do. Yeah. That's good to hear. The security court of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Hello, Munchlax. Am I battling? Oh, I am. Go, Cyndaquil! <laughs> I'm going to stand on this side then to be opposite of you. Oh, he's running towards me! Quick, Cyndaquil, get it! Quick attack! Oh, it's coming my phones. Oh my god, he's using a strong style move as well. Oh my god, roll out. Yeah, that might insta-kill me. That will actually insta-kill me. <laughs> oh, and it's already started building up roll out oh god I might actually lose this <laughs> I'm getting PTSD from Pokemon Silver quick attack <laughs> it's all coming down to Eevee again oh no oh thank god Eevee's alive again Eevee quick, you keep using quick attack I know you'll stay alive. <laughs> Not again. No, Eevee. <laughs> no. My Pokemon. I'll kill you. <laughs> Starly, get out there. Oh my God, look at the giant bird. Strong Starlet, Starly. Finish it off. Yes! <laughs> we won! <laughs> I should actually come up for nicknames for Pokemon, what I use. I mean, if I like these, I should I should really name them. Mon. You really are one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deep Dirac Heights. They track. I misread that. It is a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you? Um, what's an alpha? <gasps> My phone's ringing. <laughs> is that strange thingy of yours telling you where to go? 
No, it's calling you a bitch. My, my, this is some serious, curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? Almighty Sinnoh stares all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power of time's flow, and this land of history was born from the process. If by the grace of the Almighty Sinnoh, that Pokemon can live and thrive here. Um, just, I met God, like actual G-O-D. Like the Almighty, I met the actual Almighty and his name is not Sinnoh, it's Arceus. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of people who crossed the sea and settled here in Hisui to venerate the Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that get graces, graces, Deer Track Heights is one of those honoured few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Follow me. Vanishes into thin air. You're just not going to care about the Shinx? No? Okay. Yeah, I need to train up with Cyndaquil. It keeps getting beat. I need my Cyndaquil to be strong, damn it. Yeah. So even the professor decided to join us. Wait up! <laughs> Hello! Well, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? What is a alpha? As long as you stay out the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon, a Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessed by your mighty Sinnoh. <laughs> what a nit- Oh, so that's an- Oh! Right! That's not it, that's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. So alphas are the ones with red eyes. Got ya. And that's what you're here from, to drive the interloper away from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Oh, thank you. Well, I've got a Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's good with fire, you know. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only that big though, they're stronger than all moves that others of their kind do not. They've not to be trifled with, but let me tell you nevertheless. I believe you are stronger than this alpha. So go show it that, beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Stubbs. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Got ya. Can I just... That seemed, that seemed a bit too easy. Oh, I couldn't even form a Pokeball. I had to go into the cut. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Can I catch you by any chance, though? Just curious. Oh, wow, where are your lace? Holy shit. Ember. Oh, it's only level 12. And it was burned. Ooh. Sorry, Cyndaquil. You just keep dying. Go, my giant Starly, go. Fight. Uh, aerial ace it yourself. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's what you get. That's what you get for fighting me. I beat it. I didn't mean too long. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone beat an alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero. Where? Is that the alpha what you were on about? What in the world? Cool. Hello. It's the great weird here. Look at you all majestic and stuff. Hi. Hello. Here we have it. Our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights, I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can be escorted to this base camp to start your excursion directly from here. Hey, so it is a fast travel point. Having more bases camp ought to make our survey work easier, huh? I agree. I agree. 
Well, that's that. How about we head to the Wallflower like usual? What are those shoes? There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as ruler of time. My people follow the Almighty Sinnoh, the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Ha! You could have had all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Ooh. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting you make better use of your time than we make of his silly space? I will slap you into next week. <laughs> better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time. Almighty oh, leader of the Pearl Clan, I'm worried you get lost in pointedly fast space you're so fond of and never show up. Get lost. In Almighty Sinnoh's great rift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis? <laughs> you wish. Girl, you've got last year's fashion and next week's stupidity. I wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Komodo's office. I believe it was you who started this. You should have seen her. She insulted me. What do you intend to do about that Clevo, Commander Komodo? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do right to get to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Clevo is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't interfere directly when a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. You know what? At least he's respectful. You know, that's kind of nice. I mean, he could have just immediately gone after the Pokemon, attacked it, and done whatever and blah, blah, blah. blah. But the fact that he's asked the Pearl Clan to come with him to the Galaxy team just to say, look, can we actually do something together? He may have bad blood with her, but at least he's kind of, you know, trying to sort it out. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Yes, I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Clevo before deciding what must be done? You send a stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Clevo? This newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. Bitch, I will slap you. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing history's fastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how near you are doesn't matter, then let's give this kid her chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folks really are. With all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those balls and whatnot. This whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made Hisui fast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Stubbs. I order you to study Clevo and help us find the truth for the situation. Eh? Uh, sure, why not? I accept. Find your way to the Grand Tree area to speak with Leon to get information on Clevo. Find yourself unable to pick up the materials you've come across. Such will always fall. Seems like you. It'd be wise to lend me your ear for a moment. Here's what I and hear what I have to say. You carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn a trick to packing things in. If I teach you, what do you say? Yeah, sure. Uh, my teaching fee is a neat 100. Yes. Let me your ear. Money well spent. That's all there is to it. You see how much money, you, much more you can fit by packing things rightly? If you want to be able to carry even more things, there's more you can teach you. What do you say? I only have 183 Poké Dollars, so maybe next time. But well, thank you very much. How are things, my good friend? Hey, Volo. You know, for a merchant, you don't really sell me anything. I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. But I already did that. Anyway, I have some super potions here, just for you. Think nothing of it. Having a survey core out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Cheers. Three super potions. Topical medicine meant to be applied, it restores 100 HP. I must depart, there are moons that are just calling to me. 
to you, Volo. Volvo. To Lydia. Those damn pity. I hear you caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. I have a job that looks perfect for a high achiever like you. So you need help researching. <gasps> So's Bidoof again! <laughs> look at him go! <laughs> I look away for one second and the little scoundrel walks right into the village. Oh, it's awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How can I face Captain Sisu like this? No, get a hold of yourself, Samagi. Just catch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. There's three years, a lot. Two more than I think I could handle on my own. I have an idea. I heard those particular beasts get easily distracted if other Bidoof are nearby and end up letting their guard down around humans. If you bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I could see it's a chance to catch little troublemakers. Voila! It's a perfect plan. If we combine forces, we'll catch all three in no time. Add a Bidoof to your team and go find a Bidoof in the village. Okay, we'll do that. Thank you. And there's Bidoof. So now we have to just go about and find three Bidoof somewhere, I think. If I was a Bidoof, where would I be? Oh, there. I thought I found one by accident. Chomp chomp. Brother. Brother. How are you? Quick, catch it. Chomp chomp. <laughs> Sister. <gasps> it's you. I finally found you again after so long. Quick, catch it. This girl gets tired so quick. Can I upgrade my sprint by any chance? <laughs> I take those uh, gravel grip things. I need to want more. Oh my god, there it is. I've been searching this entire area. Like, I just did a loop around the um, around the entire outer bit. I was just literally going in a circle. If I didn't find it there, then I'd go around the buildings. That just took me like 15 minutes to find this one Bidoof. Chomp chomp. Good for you. Traitor. <laughs> Catch him. Great going team. Yeah, you didn't spend 15 minutes looking for a Bidoof. I did. Nice work. That puts all these little truffle makers safety in our custody. Now to give them the old heave hole. We don't do that. It'd be a shame to just send those Bidoof back into the wild, no? My construction core could find a use for them. Huh? You want to keep them? But these naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction core. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How are they supposed to know our village is a strict no chewing zone? Shows good taste in their parts come all the way here to know on our woodwork, love. But if they're gonna stay here, they'll need to help with our work. They've got the guts to keep trying to get into the village, plus teeth to gnash through, trees and rocks. Just what our core needs. How about it, little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know? Doof. <laughs> Aw, just what I wanted to hear. Well then, here's the Pokeballs. I'm not convinced this lot have it in them to do an honest day's work, but if you are watching over them, I'm sure it'll work out all right. I guess that's settled. Thanks again for your help. That was the bothersome Bidoof. Hey, I got a rare candy for that. Nice. I was doing some bits and pieces. Well, no, I shouldn't say it the last episode. This episode, before I started it, I wanted to do some bits and pieces to essentially just build up our star rating so we can get more items, get more stuff, and not be held back when we need to play the campaign. And I found this little guy. Just out in the wild, doing his own thing. So before we actually do uh, go out into the episodes and everything, we have quite a bit to do. We've got 60 Pokemon, care to report your findings? Yes, we do. I wanted to play this to make sure like we actually made some sort of progress, but I didn't want to go past where we've already seen. So I don't know what the new areas are. I've just kind of walked around and been around in the same beginning areas as usual. So let me see. We got nine grand for that, which ain't too bad. Oh, we've made some observations. Let's have a look. Hmm, most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. I was trying my best to just build up certain Pokemon, so we needed uh, 860 points, we gained a thousand, so we did actually get the second star. Splendiferous, I dare say you've earned yourself a promotion, best to report to Captain Silene. So would you like to go now? Yes, I would like to go now, return to the village. Righto, the secure corpse will take us there. But I was dead happy to actually get that shiny, because I 
don't really get shinies. The only times I've ever gotten shinies myself personally is either through doing the cheese methods that are usually established once a game comes out, like the, um, I think it's the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire um, Magic Harp glitch where you print a load of Pokemon, see what number's going to be shiny and then do the exact same with a different Pokemon so you know that like, number whatever is the shiny one. And I never really find wild shiny, so seeing one out in the wild to me was definitely something brand new. Oh, playing with Drifloon. Several people have spotted a Drifloon playing with one of the village children. Mickey from the security corps can tell you more. Speak with her to get to the bottom of it. I will do that too. But I was actually very, very, very excited for it. I'm not... Unfortunately, I'm not like the normal YouTubers or normal TikToks or normal Instagrams you see where people jump off the chair, scream loud, scream. I just kind of get stuck in the moment of, oh my god, I can't believe that's actually happening for me. Now, as you can see, our Pokemon are a tiny bit, tiny bit higher. Not as high as, um, uh, as I wanted them to be from doing all that training, but that's actually a good thing. I didn't want to be massively overpowered straight away. Uh, what was that? Someone called Mickey. Wait, have we completed Starly yet? It says complete research level 10. Let's actually ask her then. Hi. Oh, you have completed Starly's entry in your Pokedex. Let me read it. Wait a moment. Male and female Starly have different appearances. Let me see. The markings on their foreheads are different size. Incredible. I had no idea. Neither did I. <laughs> Thank you for letting me read it. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch one. Please, if you can find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. There's not a Pokemon in the world so adorable as Starly, I tell you. Well, I've got one right there. Can you show me a Starly? Yes, I can. I will show you the one that I've been carrying in with me. The smooth curl of the feather on its head, those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through, but I adore it down to its last feather. Hello there, Starly. Would you... Want to pet it? No! I think you're quite satisfied just looking at it at all. Besides, it might let loose a move. Who outside the Survey Corps Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I must thank you for showing me this sweet Starly. Some people will see a Pokemon and flee on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about them in the Pokedex might put more people at ease. Oh, well, that's cute. All right, now that we're here, let's actually go see ourselves about a monster, shall we? I know my Pokemon can evolve, but I believe these Pokedex entries I've not done yet. Like, um, where is it? If I go over to Cyndaquil, I need Flame Wheel, which I still don't have. I need Agile Moves, which I still don't have. And then same with Eevee. Eevee can evolve, but I need 40 Quick Attacks. That's going to take a while. And I need to feed five of them food. Oh, I'm going to that giant tree. I don't think I can jump down there. <laughs> so around the side we go. I need it. Ow. You didn't see nothing, bird. Is that an alpha? Oops. Is that an alpha? Oh my god, it is. Hello. I don't want to fight you because my Pokemon are level 16 and I do not trust it. I wonder what other alpha Pokemon we can find. You know, it's kind of nice running around without the um, menu as well. I am going the right way, so as I need to know. What was that? What are you? Oh, you're just a tiny little rabbit. Hello. <laughs> just... No, stay away from me. What's up? What, did you just want to hang out? I can hang out with you if you want, Psyduck. You okay? You good? Do you want to come with me on my journey? Is that a yes? No? That's a no? Oh, God, I pissed him off. Oh, no, a Psyduck. <laughs> However, will I escape him? Couple of worm pools. But it's kind of nice of an area, isn't it? I really do need a way to get about, though. This is taking forever. Stop, worm pool. How are you? Hello, tree. Oh, hello, combat. Are you a female? No, you are not. 
So unfortunately for you, you don't get to live. <laughs> I'm very sorry, comedy, but only the females can evolve. Goodbye, 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 comedy, goodbye. Do -do -do -do. I know you can all evolve. You know what, should we just... I don't, no, actually, I don't know when I'm going to find another either. So maybe I'll just do the 40 quick attacks in like in a second and then evolve a, him. I mean, hello, kid. How are you? I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Clearvore, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you're, you've came here to meet them. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerful, awesome Clevo has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet him right now. I'll do anything. Come on, King. <laughs> Show them that we're the real deal. Oh god, level 15. That's not going to work, is it? Because that's why it's got the triangle. Agile quick attack. We need to build these up for the uh, completionist as well. Oh, what's that going to do? Not that good. Oh, God, that's bubble. Okay, 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 okay. No. How do I send out a Pokemon? Like that. Okay, okay, okay. Come back, King. Go Shinx. <laughs> I'm not having another episode where my um, little guy gets bullied. Use Thunderfang. Yeah, not very effective, but it's doing a lot of work. Paralyzed and cannot move. There we go. Thunderfang it again. Goodbye, Yumi. Goodbye. The battle has been decided. This is what happens when you only come after me with one Pokemon. Just saying. Yay! <laughs> How can this be? <laughs> that game is awesome. I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor now. You! Stranger from beyond the sky, tell me. Could you galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? I'll figure it out. Very well. Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleavor, in hopes that we might be able to get close to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quenzi quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of history. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. That's not too bad. <laughs> Speaking of... Hello, God. How are you? A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Oh, I've got fast travel, fast travel now. He's really trying his best. <laughs> He's pondering and pondering and pondering. <gasps> He's figured it out. Eureka! That's it! <laughs> we simply have to throw the food. You have quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Stops? Might I suggest you take his favourite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Uh, can you elaborate on that, please? That makes zero sense. Why are we going to throw food at him? This isn't a food fight, it's a Pokemon battle. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our own skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleavor's beloved food into balls, then throw them to achieve the same common effect. But from afar. A brilliant idea if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles, how about tea time balls? Puts one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Sure. Yeah, even he agrees. Are you sure, Professor? They're your own inventions? Why not call them Lavington balls? Oh my, what's... With that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foods, correct? Yeah, that's what they said. Then you should hurry back to the tree area and tell the Pearl Clan about our brilliant plan. If you're after that area, best set out from the heights camp, eh? Weird is found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for her, my? <laughs> he looks like he's got a dead fat face. Weird have opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. You gonna hang out with me now, Pokemon? 
What's this? A mind slate? Okay. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy when used on a certain Pokemon. It allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the psychic type. Now use that celestial fruit widely and gallop across the land. Searching far and wide. With each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quell at Grand Tree, haven't you? With Weird Air, you can gallop all across the field lands in no time. <laughs> you can now use him to gallop across the land. Press the pulse button to summon him. Neat. So I just stand here and go click. Oh wow, that really just summons him. Come on, take on my adorable balloons with your Pokemon. Sure. Nice to meet you, young Survey Corvic recruit. I hear you have the rare ability to dash over hill and vowel. <laughs> Vail? Oh, over hill and veil on the back of a Pokemon, yes? Why not try your hand at the balloon race? The game I invented. It's simple, really. You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. If you manage to burst 17, that'd be impressive. You'll find me here anytime, so let me know. Whether you want your, whether you like to test your skill in the balloon race. Sure. Ride, ride, ride the Pokemon. If you burst 17, it's in start. Well, how about it? Sure. There are a total of 30 on the claw, so let's see how many you can burst in 45 seconds. Now get out there and get bursting. I should have read how to do it. Do I just run into them? Yes, I do. Okay, so we just literally sprint into it. How did it say a jump again? There we go, figured it. Oh, yeah, I've got this. 13. Where am I now? Jump. Oh, I'm so good. That's 17. 18. He's going. Oh, the way. No, you don't. That way. Come on. Come on. Jump. One. Jump. One. Jump. Oh, my God. I got all 30. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see how you like that, Mr. Balloon Man. You burst 30 balloons? Perfection! You popped every single balloon! You're definitely a balloon bursting boss, that's for sure. And that means you deserve something to special something special to mark the occasion. He gave me five grand. And a rare candy. And what do you know? You beat my target of bursting at least 17. Well done you. And feather balls? You can take part in the balloon races in other places as well. This race is the easiest. Let's see if you have what skill it takes to challenge them all and raise your skills to the next level. Oh, did he say I don't get any more rewards if I do it? Let me see that again. Uh, I've still got plenty of prizes if you want to have another go. Could he explain the, the prizes, maybe? I don't think he's... You get better rewards the more he burns your balloons. Blah, 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 blah. I'll give it one more go. Right, that's three times I've done it now. If you give me honey, I swear to God. Okay, so he doesn't give you anything else. So, yeah, just don't... If you've played it once and you get all the rewards, there's just no point in playing it again. Maybe I guess for one additional reward, but other than that, not really. But at least I know I can dash now. You know, at least that taught me that. So now we can actually go across the land. This is so much easier. So I'm quite thankful for being uh, taught that we can run. This will make grinding out the uh, the Pokemon to get to the next bit so much easier for me. Let's go find ourselves a thing over there and have ourselves a jolly old battle with a weird... I don't even know what to call it. Frenzied Alpha? Guardian? Are Alphas and Guardians different? I don't know. That's a beauty fly over there. Holy hell. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. You know, I get that people do shit on this game a lot, being this, that, and the other, but it does, it does still look nice. I still do like how it looks. So you say that like, you galaxy people came up with a method to try and quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, don't get ahead of yourself. I've appeared from the side, even though no one else is. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favourite plum beans. I've brought them, as promised. 
That's right, my apologies. I've forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have a little choice but to turn to the Galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These Galaxy team people don't share the customs of our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs, but on my side I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you could defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Cleavor's fate. Will you battle us? Yes, I will. Then allow Glaceon's true fence to chill, to, to chill you to your bone. Cool. Go, Shinx. My little buddy. Bam. Okay, so I'm still roughly in the correct um, area. Wow, that hurt. Thunderfang. And again, fight. I should have healed. I should have healed. No! <laughs> I tried saving him. Glaceon, how could you? Well, it's time for my best Pokemon. Even though he keeps getting beat up. Come out. Ember her. <laughs> we don't have any other fire moves at the moment, but you know what? It was enough. Goodbye, Glaceon. Yeah, level up. And evolve. <laughs> you can evolve all you want. It's not going to happen. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now. I think, let me see your Pokemon's moves. Very well. If it'll help soothe Cleavor's friendly frenzy, let's make these bombs with our very hearts and soul. Alright, show the animation for all that type of stuff. There. A veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleavor if anything can. Now then, ready yourself. I will summon our mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. Yeah, let's go. I'm ready. Listen all Stubbs. Keep your focus on him. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. You got it. I'm ready for a boss fight. I've played a lot of Dark Souls, so this will be fine. Whoa. 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 Oh my god, he's at- Oh my god. Hello. Lord of the Woods Cleaver. Bring it? <laughs> Claim victory against a noble Pokemon and its Frenzy. You have to throw bombs until its Frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you create an opening in its defenses, you'll be able to turn out your Pokemon to battle. Win the battle and the noble gauge will stay down for a brief time. Doing that, bombs will be more effective. for as many as you can. Nah. It's cool. I'll just play myself. Woo! Wah. Wah. Bing it! <laughs> you really think you can fight me, Pokemon? Ow. Oh my god, that was cheating. You went through the tree. Now. No? There we go, there we go, there we go. Someone a Pokemon. I can't see. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Well, that's just not fair. Night. <laughs> Come on out. How am I supposed to fight this? Oh, he's got his own alpha, got it, right. Hey, he's got an elf bar. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Go, my little Levy, go! Considering our other guy just got absolutely destroyed. He's adopted a hard hitting stance. Oh no. Oh my god. When did he turn Stealth Rock into an actual attack? That did absolutely nothing. 
Oh, that's bad. So he's a bug type. Then I should send out Starly, right? I don't know these Pokemon. <laughs> this is what I get for being too cocky. Emulace. Nope, even wind types don't work. Not the stealth walk, no! <laughs> Stop killing my Pokemon! Right, Shinx, get out of here. Fourth time's the charm. Fight that motherfucker. Alright, you did some damage, good. Stop with the stealth walk, no! <laughs> Not again! Mime Junior, you're only level 14, but go. Oh my god. I really need to change my Pokemon. This is not what I thought it was going to be. Strong style confusion. Get it. You've almost won. Yes. It's, it's got us down. Now's your chance. I can't do another fight with it, though. It has to be just me. I will lose the next fight if I try. You really think like that would work? Do you not know who I am? Oh, did I win? Ooh. Haha. -ha. No. <laughs> I have never seen that Pokemon before in my life. Good for you guys. <laughs> Your entire other family is dead. <laughs> but good for you for leveling up. What's up? The inset plate. Ooh. <laughs> Gives it the power of the bug type. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's run away. <laughs> yeah, you better run, you coward. You totally did destroy me in a Pokemon fight, but you better run. <gasps> what happened? I beat it. Some kind of light erupted from Cleavor's body. Has Lord Cleavor's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does, it, does this confirm the sh that the strange lighting was to blame for his unnatural power? Maybe. I don't know. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleavor and driven him into a frenzy after all. Then were we even right to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife, with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of these painful frenzy, please help them. Yes, fine, I suppose I must concur. I apologise for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take this on behalf of the Pokemon Clan, consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier. And as a token of my thanks. Oh, he's back. Hello again. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled that Lord Pokemon. Yes, I did. And what do you have there? Could it be? Are those two of the fabled plates of old? Please, let me have a look. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says, where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old mirror. How did you come across these? Oh, you know, Pokemon handing me to them, them to me, I mean. I, I don't know why, but it, they kind of just did that. This is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across history. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such time. But well, I must be on my way until next time. You're totally going to turn evil. You just happen to know about the plates that I've needed. I saw something incredible. Oh, it was incredible. Come again. The thing I saw, it was a will-o'-wisp. A ball of bright red fire. When I was walking the wind swept one on the other night, it leaped out at me like, woo! Catch a mysteriously red will-o'-wisp at the wind swept ruin at, my, at night. Yes, okay, I can do that. Has my syndical learned how to use thingy yet? How are you doing? I'll go to the survey and we're getting along great here as you can tell. 
What's happening to Beauticia? Oh, that's bright. It became a silicone. <laughs> Just a little longer and it'll blossom into a beautifier. You can do it. Ask. Uh, dude. This Sukun lock suits my body for sure. But I can't wait to see it as a beautiful eye. I ain't gonna tell him. Well done. I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleavor's frenzy. I received word that there were other Pokemon noble falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisui. So carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you are truly an asset to us. And that is all. You are dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. Right, I have to. I'm sick of eating potato mochi. Stops. Hello, little kid. I've been waiting for you. My name's Vessa. There's something really important I need to tell you. Will you come with me? This is kind of a secret, but... Something terrible happened. Hisui is in a lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. The odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Okay. A mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that glow with an eerie purple light. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across Hisui. 107 of them in total. No. 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 If I find them, I'll collect them, but I am not collecting 107 items. No. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. No. No. I I am... I swear off... Ca ca collect the, I swear off collecting things in the hundreds. I don't need to. Ever since Assassin's Creed, I've given up on that. If the game is truly insane... And I really love it, then I'll do it. But no, I am not collecting 107 items or going out my way to collect 107 items. So I get one small thing. I know it's a huge task. You're telling me, please, you have to gather all of the wisp. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that? I, I will do that, sure. But I am not going to the point of collecting 107 of these things. If I see it, I'll grab it. If not, oh well. Nope, should be Anna. The wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone just as it should have been. I'll wait for you here to carry out your search. Good luck. Sure. If I find them, I'll grab them. I'm Irizu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Okay. Oh, snip, but I came here to talk to Mr. Camado. See you around. Oh, I got a mission from her as well. Neat. Hmm. So it's come to Ursa Luna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. I have received no word from Adaman or Ivada. But this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Mr. Rezu. You did well to inform us of Ursa Luna's situation. No problem. Adaman's got his hands full running our clan and all, and this Luna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the galaxy team are the only ones I could turn to about this. The warden is Mistress Calabar, right? Of the Pearl Clan, is it not? Of all the wardens, she's the most narrow-minded. <coughs> Sorry. Bound by tradition. She likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. I have a new mission for you, Stubbs. In order to... I order you to study Ursa Luna in the Crimson Maya Lands. I permit you to show your strength if, ne if necessary. You got it, boss. I can do that. I can do that very well. The next area you'll be sent to is the Crimson Maya Lands. You'll find Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian. Even the landscape itself is harsher. With steep ravines, seaside cliffs, it's not welcoming. At your current rank, you should be able to handle that on your own. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Maya lands known as the Salacion Ruins. This is where you'll find Ursa Luna's Warden. See, I did know that. I was smart. So if you 
don't rank yourself up correctly, you do get stopped from progressing in the game. And because we put ourselves at rank 2 already, we can kind of go see the next part. Oh my god, there's so many missions. I'm not... No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, you're the girl from the survey car, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Could I ask you to fetch a plank for me? I need to use it to make some medicine. Three leaves and it tastes bitter enough to make you dizzy. I don't know where it grows. I wasn't always tied to talk to Anise from the medical corps. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. Okay. Hey, look! He did my thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you're in the survey corps. Just the girl I was looking for. I'm working to make these fields bigger, but the ground is so hard to plow, so I'm looking for someone to lend me a hand. More field means more food, which means everyone's happy, including the survey corps. We're all in this together, after all. If you have a ground-type Pokemon, could I borrow it? Do I have a ground-type Pokemon? <laughs> no. We're slowly getting there and everything, aren't we? Oh, there's two people back there. I want to make sure I grab all missions before we leave. One, 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 one. Hello, sir. Oh my, you. You know, you remind me of some somehow of my grandmother. She was always so funny with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel the same over from you. As if you could become true friends with a Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with a Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you'll come show me sometime. Show Pokemon with a good bond? Sure. King. Yes? No? Look how pleased it is to be travelling with you. You are a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother, my grandmother was precisely like you. The type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of a knack for sensing how compatible a person and Pokemon are. If you'd like to, you can keep on coming to show me your Pokemon. I'd be happy to inform you at any time how they're feeling. Hey, where can I? You handed over five Pokeballs. Woohoo! Now I can catch part of Pokemon of my own. As a reward, Grit Dust. Oh, it's super hard to correct it, so I hope you know you like it. If you want to know more about what it does, you could ask Captain Caesar. Thank you, kid. I appreciate that. Anyway, I'm going to practice with loads with the Pokeballs you gave me. If you find a Pokemon that'd be a great partner for me, let me know so I can catch it. Oh, I can't actually tell him, can I? Is that all the missions? Nope, there's still two at the front. And what do you want? You lay a valued customer. Wouldn't you rather I had more wares for you to choose from? It would be nice. Unfortunately, Taohao refuses to provide me with new gods to offer. He won't listen to a word I say, so would you try and persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring him some hearty greens as a token of goodwill. Two or three stocks ought to do it, but I'd make it free to play it safe. I don't have any greens. Oh, look at this. Into of the Ginkgo Guild sells rare items you won't find anywhere else. Hi there. We've got great stock at the moment. Here's all the gods we've got right now. Anything catch your eye? Stealth, Spray, Set, Pinap, Nanab. I'm good. Those are all berries. Why would I care about them? Fine day to you, kids. They had nothing. They literally had nothing. That was kind of silly. Hey Stubbs, mind helping me train a bit? Sure, why not? I could kick your ass again. That's the stuff. I feel a lot better going out researching on my own if I can beat you. That's not going to happen, my guy. Actually, it might happen, to be fair. I realise I'm actually massively underleveled. Oh, he's got a new Pokemon. Go you. Go, King. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his Pokemon are a higher level than mine. Burn it! Burn it now! Not hypnosis, no! Good job, King. Oh my god. Right, Knight, get out there. I really need to go about training my Pokemon. Uh, quick attack! I, I just, no, strong style quick attack. 
Go, my little Eevee. Go. Go, Knight. Kill it. There we go, Knight. There we go. Nice. Oh, God. His Pikachu's level 20. His Pikachu's way stronger than me. His Pikachu's way stronger than me. Get it, Knight. I really need to train my Pokemon, and this is not good. Again, strong style night. Oh no. Oh no. Uh Pokemon. Shinx! You're 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 a thingy type, a little electric type, go! Oh my god, it's almost killed me over there. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. You know what? We haven't seen them fight yet. You may be a water type, but go my shiny Pokemon, go! Aqua Jet! How you like me now, Pikachu? How you like me now? Battle has been decided. Oh boy, Pikachu's going to be angry with me again. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Seems right that the ones who could defeat a lord would beat me too, I guess. Thanks for that battle. Here, let me give you a new recipe. Ooh, self freeze. You know, lately these space time distortion things have been popping up here and there. Took a peek into one and saw some tempting items, so I tried ducking in to grab them. Turns out there was a legion of tough Pokemon inside. I barely made it out alive. You be careful of those distortions too, alright? Anyway, time to make for the camp. Neat. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I need to check to see if um, King can finally learn Flame Wheel. It's actually bugging me. Should I just give him a bloody thingy baby? King. Change moves. No. He still doesn't have it. Do I have a bloody... I have three. Okay, use. Is that it? Even though I just noticed that I could have just leveled him up in like two hits. Oh my god, finally, flame wheel. So I get that done on the bloody survey core thing, I'll actually evolve him. 